This time we are going to water water. This time we are going to do a basic course of groundwater modeling with Modflow and Model Muse. And this is the first part. This first part of this course is the installation of Modflow with Model Muse. So where do we find Modflow and Model Muse? We go to the, the USGS and we search for Model Muse. Model Muse. And we wait. And we are not so lucky. <laughs> Sorry, uh, it's better to do a Google on that. Yep. And we say model US, yes. News. And here we have, this is the website if you want to, to get this. The last version is August 26, 2016. And we strongly recommend to use it on 64 bits. And we can download, okay. It is downloading and Model Muse actually needs this model muse that is the pre-visualization and post-visualization of modflow so this is a tool that will help us to build the required files of modflow and this is a tool that will also be will be helpful to get the required to get the results of modflow i mean to see the results of modflow but in order to get a fully installation of modflow we will need another software that we will explain you later no, we will explain you in this video, but once the software is being downloaded. I think I have it already downloaded. Let me check. No, no, I didn't have. So wait a little bit. Mm -hmm. Downloaded. It's almost downloaded. This is the first video of a series of video that is mostly intended that you understand how Modflow is being, I mean, how can you build basic models with Modflow? I hope that you enjoy these videos and please follow this, this YouTube channel because we will, we will be streaming more videos on this, on this platform. Okay, so here, we have the mod flow with model muse is running. It will ask me for like this, and I say yes. Um, what else? Okay, here it appears the wizard, and we say next, next, next. Sorry. Small program is not so heavy. And finish. And then we launch Model Muse. Okay, I have already done some models. That these are the done, but I will create a new one. And from the latest version, I think it requires a projection and a starting date. So I will and projection for my country. So it will be this one. Yeah. If you want to, to know more about this EPSG, this EPSG is actually the European Petroleum Society of Geology. That is a catalog or like directory of system of coordinates. Okay, next. It doesn't matter. Here I will just apply this that are the basic by default setup of a of a mod flow. I will we are in a basic course. Like this is the number of columns and you will create 10 columns by by 10 rows with a um, width of 100. And on three layers, you can say like you want one layer. Yep, yeah, it's up to you. And then you you will have like you wanted to name it aquifer. And then like you can say that you want that your aquifer is 
from the 20, from 100 meters at the top to 20 meters at the bottom. So it will be 80 meters thick. And let's say that the, let's say that the upper left corner that is actually the, the origin of the grid is 1000 by 1000 and is 100 here, because this one is as well the same as this one. Okay, nothing else, let's go to finish. Okay, this is our one layer, let me, layer uh, model that is 80 meters thick and this is 10 rows by rows. So it's, it has actually 100 cells, okay? So we go to model and then we go to program locations. I have it already installed, but I will uninstall it because I want to 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 give you how you can uh, install all of them. Okay, now I have in uninstalled this, so I well I have deleted this. So here we have, I don't have it. Use, I will use Modflow 2005, Modflow NWG. I will use Modpad, some budget, and I will use as well empty 3 dms Okay, so if you don't have it, you just have to go to this website. Yep. So I will download this. I will want download with source course and test program. Yes, download. Then it's really easy. I will do download this experience to, to get the latest version of my computer. So it's this one. And I want I need also to download this A new version of Modpad for me is this is quite new. Uh, I will download mod, but uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I don't know. I mean, because on the model muse you can use modpad six, but not modpad seven. So let's see. Uh, let's see. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. Oof, I, I think I, I think I, here I have, this is mod pad six. Yep. I will use this one. I'm sorry, I. I have no experience with mod pad seven. Uh, what, I, what else? Some budget, I also go here. And I go some budget table. And then what else? MT3 DMS. MT3 DMS is actually not hosted by the USGN, but is hosted by the Alabama. Some weeks ago the MT3 MDS was missing, but now it's is it still there. So yes, this one. So everything is being downloaded. This is great. Okay. And um, okay, on my downloads. Wow. On my downloads, only MT3 DMS is missing. So that's great. Uh, well, first I will run the executable of some budget. And by default, it actually install it on the, it makes a VRD app. It, this is the, the folder where we, all the, all the mod flow programs. Mm -hmm. So we go to unzip. Okay, it's already there. So if we go to our, uh, where is this? If I go to my VRD app, uh, these are my files. Don't, don't, um, 
this is the sum budget okay so what else I need to go to play a little bit empty 3 dms will be here as well okay is there so I will install empty 3 ms where do I install empty 3 dms multi transport modeling system in 3d Where do I install this? Okay, here. Okay, here I will install it not directly on C, but I will install it on C very deeply. Mm hmm. It here. let's see what happens if I unzip it it has already unzipped oh here WGS oh who 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 yeah it has it has not unzipped the way that I want it so I will delete my installation because I I want something more fancy Okay, so a folder called what do I um empty I will call folder so I will go and make it slash I will make it and then here I go unzip okay so the empty 3 dms here okay cool those are the two of them that has uh executables and the rest of them the rest of them so these these and this one yep control c i put it and i go to beard up and i paste it here i unzip it Struck here, struck here, here. Okay, I have already mod flow 2005, mod flow NWT, and mod pad. So I don't need anymore. Okay, delete. Okay, cool. So now I go to Modflow 2005. I go to, okay, by default, I mean, now that you have this, like if it, do, if it doesn't route automatically, you have to go to, or like my computer, very DFP here, Bing, and then choose this one. Because it's actually the one that says, okay, choose this one, this one. Okay, and um, since you have already given the, the route for this executor, actually it do recognize automatically the routes for the other executables. Yeah, that's why it was really important to have, for example, it didn't recognize this one. So I, I have to write it manually here, here. Outflow in 3 ms being, and then from this one is, which one is this? Let me check, is the empty 3 dms 5 b this one. Okay, so now you have a fully installation of Modflow on your computer. And it was a pleasure, and from this you can do your models. Further, um, how to say? further classes or further tutorials will be posted on this YouTube channel and then we will have uh, when we will when we use some when we use some uh, some files or something like that we will have a website so I hope that you enjoyed these tutorials I uh, hope to see you on the following tutorials as well and follow us on by Facebook Atari water. 
and follow this YouTube channel. Um, okay, and share it if you find this interesting. Okay, my name is Saul Montoya from Hatari Water. It was a really pleasure to give you these tutorials and I hope to see you soon. Okay, bye bye.